All right, take it easy now. We're going to talk about the Saints for a minute, but fair warning for you. But it's because linebacker Demario Davis was hit with a $7,000 fine over the weekend for wearing a headband that said Man of God. Now, this was against the Seahawks in week three. Liza Lucas is at the bridge tracking your social reaction to this. Liza, I know there's a rule by the league about personal messages, and the last time we had headband controversy was 1986 with old uh, McMahon from the Bears. <laughs> That is certainly what people point to when they say it started at all. Now, Ricardo on our Morning Rush Insider page, he says he is okay with it. But when it comes to the league, as you mentioned, crash, personal messages are not allowed. And that's actually a uniform violation. But we have seen a lot of support for Davis on our Facebook page overnight as we've been tracking some of these comments. So is it just Davis you support? Or should the NFL allow players to wear personal messages on their uniforms? Davis is actually putting this in fans hands and he says should I wear it or not and if he does wear it again well that fine could double to more than $14,000 so this is actually not the first time that we've seen uniform issues like this get a little bit closer here you can see these purple cleats that William Gay is wearing that was for domestic violence awareness and then the black under the eyes of D'Angelo right here that was for find a cure it's a little hard to read but that went back to 2015. Both of those were Steelers players that were fined as well. So this is not a new issue, but this is the latest that we're certainly talking about this morning. And some of the support is there on our Facebook page and some are not in support. And this is kind of the other side. Some saying there are other ways that he can display his godliness through his actions and others saying you just shouldn't have statements out there on the field, guys. Mm. It's so definitely stringent. an expensive fashion statement, but some yeah. people are arguing, hey, he can afford it. He's getting three hundred fifty thousand dollars per mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So, I mean, if he wants to, he, I guess, could theoretically continue to do it. Seven thousand dollars. Fourteen thousand the next time. Yeah. It's like nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they know they're going to get fined. When they do this stuff, they know, OK, it's cost me ten thousand dollars. But obviously <laughs> it means more than ten thousand dollars to these people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see where the personal messages like that are a problem, but then when you start getting into stuff, because you know how these players are, a lot of them are showboats, you know, what happens when they start putting things, uh, you know, that are like making fun of another player or another mm. team or mm -hmm. something like that. But I mean, just man of God is not a big deal, or like you said, the cleats are were supporting some of the, uh, uh, another charity or something like that. Yeah. And they are allowed, like if there's a player or one of the one of their teammates that passes away, they're allowed to wear a special patch or something on their helmet to honor that yeah. individual. So with permission. Yeah, right. with permission yeah. from the league. So I mean, I think if it's if it's uh, regulated, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's interesting to see our 11 Alive poll here right now because it is 50-50. Yeah. So continue wow. to weigh in. Should the NFL allow players to wear personal messages on their uniforms? Go to 11alive.com slash vote. Let us know. We'll have the poll up for a little bit. And we have the full story posted on 11alive.com. If you want to dig in deeper, continue to share your thoughts by using the hashtag MorningRushATL.